Hi, I'm RK here and today we're gonna talk about animations holding data. So something that is not very, mm, very known and there is no blueprint for it. But it's there and you can use it. And to, of course, use it to the fullest, you need to add the C++ code, but it's very, very simple, so don't, please don't run away yet. <laughs> it's just the one line of code and I promise you'll like it. So what am I talking about? Let's say we have an actor. We have an actor. In this case, we have this character mage uh, that inherits from character base, but you know, it's just a type of a character. And in this character, we have an event that is triggering a montage. And uh, in that montage, we can have notifies, but we can't really have anything that holds data just as uh, the blueprint itself would. So we don't have any variables, macros, functions, nothing. We just have notifies. And maybe you're just like me and you're in a position where your project needs your animations to hold some data. So, for example, we want to check if that animation is designed for use with two-handed weapons, for example. Uh, in my project, I had a need for animation montage to hold the data about if it's a one or two-handed weapon, so we can uh, use a trace, or oh, not trace, inverse kinematics for a second hand to hold that weapon. If it's two-handed, then we want to hold it. If it's one-handed, we we don't. And uh, I was searching for, for a solution. I was searching through that, uh, to that asset. Uh, and the only thing I found, but is actually all I need, is uh, a little, little uh, category down below and uh, by the way, it's also in animation sequence because it's practically the same. And, and it's also in blade spaces, but uh, it's easiest to get out uh, in animation montages. So I'm just going to show it in montages. Uh, so we get that uh, leash attack montage we are using in that character. And when we scroll down, there is something called metadata. And you might have heard about it uh, before because every asset can have uh, meta metadata, so asset tags. And you can add it to virtually any asset and uh, you can then use it to filter uh, those assets, find what you want. But this is something different. This is not an asset metadata. This is animation metadata. And it can have a its own class that holds variables, macros, functions, events, timers. <laughs> like it's it's a solid class that you can just pin to your animation montage and then use. Uh, so let's see, we can add an, an element and then in that element, you will see nothing. Uh, but I already made, made something, so it, so it shows. But I'm going to show you uh, how to do that. We have an index. We can have multiple classes, multiple um, metadata assets that we can uh, plug into that metadata category. But usually we just want one. <laughs> I mean... You can categorize uh, your data into multiple metadatas, but I don't think it's it's necessary. You can just put it into one class and then just use it, get the first index. Uh, so index zero and then just use it. So to make a metadata class, you just go to uh, <laughs> whenever, wherever you want to make it, go to blueprint class, type anim montage, Mm, actually, no, anim metadata, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and you have anim metadata class. And that is, 
you know, straight in the engine, you don't have to use C++ anything. It will just show and you can make it. So let's make a new class. Let's uh, call it AMD uh, tutorial. And in that class, you can say it's just a standard blueprint. We can have functions, macros, variables, whatever. And in our case, we just want to hold some variables. So I'm gonna add a single bool, call it uh, weapon type. And uh, actually not weapon type, maybe let's call it uh, two-handed, just two-handed. And if it's clicked, so if it's true, then the animation is designed for two-handed weapons. And if it's unclicked, unchecked, false, then it's designed for one-handed weapons. So let's compile it, uh, save, and let's it, let's uh, put it into the metadata in our, uh, our animation montage. So AMD tutorial. And now you can see that we can access our variable to end it. We can click it, we can unclick it, and we can, of course, uh, find some more uh, montages. Uh, like, let's put it to uh, dev montage for whatever reason. <laughs> I just want to show you, so don't mind me. And we can, you know, put it here and sign, uh, check it to false. So uncheck it. So this montage will have it checked. This montage will have it unchecked. And the both, uh, the both montages will now behave in a different way. Of course, if we add a script for that. And now the, the tricky part, because there is no node <laughs> in Unreal that would make use of that uh, metadata. It is. Um, I mean, there is a function though in C++ that does exact thing that we need. So just get the animation metadata from our animation montage. And uh, I made a simple function that you can make also yourself. And this is that basically. <laughs> So uh, we have a function that in on return value is just a T-ray of uh, uanim metadata, so the class we just made, and in uh, a parameter we just want to input an animation asset. So we can input anything ranging from montage, sequence, blend space, you know. And then this is just you know a check. So we input the right mm, parameter. And if we do, then we just want to return animation pointer and get metadata. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. You, you, you don't need to do anything else. Just put that function in your code. Uh, like, uh, I don't know, if you're using a blueprint, I mean, a blueprint library, this is actually in Blueprint Library, so I'm using also a header in public, of course. So this is a header. Mm, get any metadata. But you can also make, a, you know, just a character a Blueprint or whatever. Or a component that could also be a component. Put that little line there and, and you're good. And now, that we um, added the function, we can use it. So get the montage we want. Now get any metadata. Now we have array of stuff we added here. Uh, not here. <laughs> and this is a child and this is the attack montage. Okay. The stuff we added here. So <laughs> uh, AMD tutorial uh, is the first index. So if we just use uh, the index zero across our projects, then we can just do get zero or get copy index zero uh, cast to AMD. And then we can basically get our two-handed variable. And you can do this in 
Now in Blueprint, you can do this in Animation Blueprint. So uh, just going here, you know, AnimVP, Pawn Owner, uh, Cast to Character or whatever. You don't even need to cast. You just get Pawn and get Current. Or do we need a character for that? Uh, probably we need to we need to have a character. So character after all. <laughs> Cast to character and now current montage. And now we can just get anim montage anim meta data and do the same thing with it here and just you know get it out and use it, switch on it, whatever. So uh, that's it. I hope you learned something. I hope it's something useful that you will, you, you will use in your future projects. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a lovely day, the rest of your day, at least. <laughs> and see you next time. Bye bye.